Hey, welcome to video four of my YouTube series where I am teaching you how to make high converting Facebook ads, how to integrate an AI chatbot in order for you to install and implement in your business from A to Z. I'm leaving no stone unturned. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna create a series of technical videos to show you how to get from no ads and no advertising and no AI in your business all the way to having it fully implemented in your business today. So I believe that this is gonna be life-changing for some small businesses. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please like the videos. If you're watching, please comment down below and give me some feedback. If you haven't seen videos one through three, I highly recommend you go back. These videos are long, they're technical, and they're full of uh, content that's really important to, to, to these operations. So I highly recommend you watch them all the way through and I highly recommend you catch up. Now. This is gonna be a quick video, and I didn't originally intend to make this uh, an entire video, but I thought it was important to break this up and show you how to create a Facebook page. A Facebook page is a key component of this entire system. It's kind of a necessary evil, we need it. So I'm just gonna make a quick tutorial showing you how to do that, how to create a Facebook page, because it can get a little confusing at times. Uh, but I wanna make sure you also understand the terminology when I when I tell you Facebook page and business profile and, and all that stuff. So please, uh, you know, if you haven't been here before, I'm Justin. Uh, I, I run a company called Lead Brain, and I'm creating this series to add value to you. And hopefully, whether you're in a home service business, you run a pressure washing company, a curbing company, or you're a real estate agent, or you're a professional service uh, business, if you're a lawyer or something, hopefully you get value out of this. And if you do, please comment down below. So let's go ahead and make this quick. Let's do this quick, fast, and hurry. I want to discuss the difference between a page and a profile, right? A page is a business asset where a profile is probably what you and me are used to. That we go on our app, on our on our, on our our phone, and we browse, and we see what our friends are up to, and we post updates with our family and our friends and all that stuff. That's a Facebook profile. A Facebook page is a business page. It's, uh, it's You've ever seen a page that probably has a logo and a phone number and a website and everything attached. It's a business asset. It's what people do when they, when they run businesses, right? And we we need that because we can't run ads from our Facebook profile, point, point blank, right? So we'll need this. This is a prerequisite to creating Facebook lead forms, which is going to be in the next video. But I just want to show you this real quick. Now, there's multiple ways to create a page and Facebook makes it or Meta makes it even more complicated because they change the interface for whoever they want. So I may have a specific interface and you may have a different interface and maybe maybe testing something on a group of people. And so um, if, if you have any questions, there, there's a tons of videos out there and the Facebook Help Center is pretty helpful, but I'm gonna show you uh, one way. So one way would be to log into your Facebook profile and then you can come in here and you should be able to come in to see all profiles. Let's see, let's see if I can find this. Okay, here it is. So you come down here on the left hand side and you scroll down to pages and then create new page. And you can create a new page this way, right? We're not gonna create it this way. I personally don't like to do it that way because then it's attached to your personal profile. What I prefer to do instead is I prefer to go to business.facebook.com and I'll put that link in this uh, in this sheet below and I sign up for a business profile. Now this is the preferred method for managing your ad accounts, your pixels, your data sets, your Facebook page, your users. I highly recommend if you don't have one of these, create a Facebook business profile, create a business portfolio and add your page that way. I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a second. Uh, I'm not gonna walk you through the sign up process because it's pretty intuitive but business.facebook.com, please, please, please do that. And what that's gonna enable you to do is stay organized. If you have multiple businesses with multiple pages, you can manage it under one business portfolio. And furthermore, and probably most importantly, if you decide down the road you wanna hire an ad agency, you can control access to your pages and your ad accounts by adding users. Instead of giving away your password, which you should never do, you can add a user, you can define their privileges, you can see what they're doing and audit their actions. And so it's really important that you do this. If you did it the other way, um, I think you're just gonna run into some more complications. So please go to business.facebook.com and I'll put the link right here. Uh, HTTPS, business.facebook.com. It's free, create a profile and create your page there. Now, the other way we're actually gonna go over, so I'll show you how to create it once you're in the business suite. And uh, there, there's, if you already have a page, you won't need to create a page, but you, say you have a page, but you don't have a business profile or a, or a business suite, then you'll have to claim that page, which is easy to do, and I'll show you what I mean by that. 
Now, one thing to pay attention to, and I'll, I, I might mention it again when creating the page really, really quickly, don't overthink the page right now, right? If, if you have a if you have a already seasoned page and it's already up and running, it's probably fine. Uh, if you're creating a page for the first time and you're like, oh man, I don't have a logo, so I'm not going to make this page for another four weeks, don't overthink it. Create a quick logo, put it on there, put your phone number on there, put a website on there if you have it, and then move on. The point is that we need this page in order to create Facebook ads, in order to create our instant forms. So let's go ahead and jump right into creating a page. So I'm right here logged into my portfolio, and I misspelled portfolio. That's awesome. It's all right. Um, if you come in here and let's see if we're home, I have nothing. This is a demo portfolio, but if you're here, what I want you to do is go into settings on the left side. And then first and foremost, if you don't see your own name and your own email address added here, um, I use the email address that I log into Facebook with. Uh, but if you don't see yourself here added as an admin in full control, uh, go ahead and add yourself. You can invite people and then just go ahead and put your email address in here and assign accesses. But if you created the account recently, you probably have it in there. Next thing we want to do is come over here to pages. Uh, here in pages is where we're going to create the page. So you're just going to go ahead and click add. It's really intuitive and create, create a new Facebook page. Now, if you already had an existing Facebook page, this is what I mean by claim a page. You just click add an existing Facebook page and then you would literally just paste the URL of your Facebook page in here. It'll find it. It'll shoot you a request if you're the administrator for it or if somebody else is, they'll get a request saying, hey, do you approve or deny this person getting access to your Facebook page, this business manager getting access to your Facebook page? Once you approve it, it'll show up in here and the job is done. It's that easy. But let's go ahead and create a new one. Um, let's see, create a new Facebook page. We are going to name it Vets Wash. Oh, I always forget what I named my company because this is not a real company. Yep, Vets Wash Houses. Uh, cool. Vets Wash Houses. And category, maybe we're going to do pressure. Oh, no, contractor. Cool, contractor. That works for now. Um, veteran owned and operated pressure washing company in the CSRA. Cool. Uh, next, we will agree, create page. And of course, it's taking sweet old time while we're live, but that's all right. There it is, page has been successfully created. So now let's click on this page. Awesome, I'm in it, I have full control. Now let's see if we can actually modify this page. So let's click on view in Facebook. If not, we'll have to navigate to it from our Facebook profile, but let's see if we can view it. Okay, cool. Sometimes you have to refresh, Meta's not perfect. There it is, let's see. No, doesn't want to do it, that's fine. We'll come in here, see if we can find it in our pages. Let's see all profiles. That's wash houses, here we go. All right, so I had to get to it from my actual Facebook profile, not a big deal. Uh, we came in here, we're gonna exit all these tours, we don't really care about this. So. At a bare minimum, we're gonna add some information here. Uh, I'm just gonna add a logo and a cover page, and then I'm gonna put a, a phone number in here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna skip that. No, we're not gonna skip that, because we have a phone number. And by the way, our phone number got approved from the last step. So it took a few days. It took, I think, a day and a half, and it was approved. So everything I showed you just worked, so it should work for you as well. Now, logos and stuff. Hey, if you don't have Canva, right, this isn't an, even an, an affiliate play. Just like, go into Canva. This tool is amazing. If you don't use it like you should, you can literally type in here, create a logo for a pressure washing company. And there you go. Don't overthink it. Pick one of these and go with it, right? You can resize it for, you know, your, your uh, what's this called? Your Facebook cover and all that stuff. You can create it. It's really intuitive. I highly recommend you do it. If you really don't want to do it and you this, the, doing this scares you, go hire somebody on Fiverr, fiverr.com, and let them do it for you. But trust me, it's really easy. You should do it yourself. Now, let's go ahead and upload a photo. Let's upload a photo. And we are going to come into downloads. 
And we have our Vets Wash Houses, PNG. Cool, looks good. Not too worried about details right now. We just want to get the page up. Awesome, now we are going to add a cover photo. Let's upload a photo. We have this cover photo. Let's reposition it a little bit. Awesome, save changes. And I am gonna go look for my phone number really quickly so we can update the phone number. I'm looking on another screen, so if you don't see anything, not a problem, just bear with me. Let's wash houses, settings, phone numbers. Awesome. Hey, if you're getting value out of this content, I ask that you please comment, shoot me a DM or something so that I know that uh, people are watching and people are getting valuable information out of this. And if there's anything that you think I should make content on, just comment down below and I'll try to do that. All right, so let's come in here, let's edit our details, and then we're gonna add our phone number, which I believe is, should be somewhere in here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Edit bio, see more. Settings. Page details. Facebook moves things around all the time. It's really frustrating, uh, so. Let's turn this off for now. Awesome, phone number, cool. If you had an email, if you had a website, please go ahead and add that stuff. Now, make sure everything here is consistent, right? If you have a Google business profile and you have a Facebook profile and an Instagram profile that you use for your business, just make it all consistent. Make the logos look the same, make the branding look the same. Uh, I think it really helps in people identifying you as a brand. Now, at this point, we have what we need. We have our Facebook page in our business profile manager. I'm gonna stop the video here because in the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we create high converting Facebook lead forms. I'm gonna debunk the myths of Facebook leads being crap and Facebook leads uh, lead forms being filled with a bunch of bogus information. I'm gonna show you exactly what we do to create high converting Facebook lead forms. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.